Hey guys, um, we had a question yesterday about how to overlay a graphic but remove the graphic that you're putting one graphic on top of, how to remove the stuff that's behind so that it's not showing through, it's not overlapping, and it's not messing up your engraving. And this is fairly simple in Lightburn, uh, and I'm going to walk you through it real quick. What we were using was a American flag, and I'll pull that in real quick, and a seal from several different branches of the military. Uh, we're just going to use one today. Let's do the Space Force because that's cool. So we have our graphic for the Space Force, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it together because currently it's not. So we group them together, and then I'm going to move it over to the union and then resize it. And once we have it, oh, we want to maintain our perspective there. Okay. So it typically will, will lock in the center, but if you want to make sure um, you ask yourself again, I like asking myself questions because I tend to forget. Um, I want this graphic to be aligned with this union. And then we would just do align both, or you could do your horizontal and your vertical. Uh, but currently it is now centered. In its current form, it's not going to look good. Obviously you have stars overlapping, you know, stars running through the graphic. Uh, it'll be avoiding any overlaps when you go to engrave. It is just going to look like garbage and it's not acceptable. So what we have to do is we need to really, we need to remove the stars and that are all behind this, um, the Space Force logo. So I'm going to move it over to the side real quick. And now these are all separate and I only want to select those stars. So I'm going to use my left to right red selection tool and it'll select only complete graphics that are inside that tool and then I will group them before that. What I mean by um, the right uh, left to right selection tool, if we go uh, right to left, it's going to grab everything that the green touches. As you can see, it's now it has the union box. It has this line here because we were overlapping. So I just want the stars. I'm going to use my red left to right selection tool. And there, I have all the stars. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them together. <clears throat> the graphics need to be grouped when you want to remove um, sections of them. Uh, otherwise it's going to do a lot of weird things and, and you won't get the outcome and you're going to be more frustrated than, uh, than you need to be. So now we need to align this with this box again and good, we're set. So now that we have that back in there and we have our stars grouped together, I'm just going to do an offset, just, just enough. We do offset of this entire Space Force logo. And what is that? Two point or point two one six eight. Um, let me go out a little bit further and click OK. Now it's already selected. So what I could do is I want these stars to be cut away by this circle. So all of those stars that encompass that circle will be either cut or they will be removed by hitting the subtract one shape from another. And if you look closely, you actually do have a remnants from when the uh, offset created an offset on the interior of this triangle. Um, and you could always just ungroup and delete that. and. You know, once you do your offset and your cut, it'll still be highlighted, so you'll be able to tell the unwanted graphics in there. Uh, you could always change the color of them, and then you really know what's what. 
Um, or the, the larger you go, see like right now we have an excess triangle in the center that's being created by the offset. Um, we could get rid of that by going even larger with our offset. Um, that just really depends on another option would be to not do the offset and break apart the seal for the space force and just grab the outside line and offset just that line. And you don't necessarily need to do it a lot. Okay, that'll be selected. Um, we select our stars, then we select our offset, and then again, do it that way, and we should have exactly what we want with no remnants of other graphics internally. And this could be used in so many different situations. Actually, I'm going to show you if we wanted to put this on the stars or the stripes rather than in the union. Let's move it over here. And let's say we wanted it right there. So now we would group, and we don't have to group all of these together. I just tend to group my graphics together regardless. Um, so I grouped all of my stripes together and I want to do an offset and I could always, I don't have to do an offset. I could always just ungroup and I could use that outline, that outside line as a cut tool. So I'm going to select that. I want my stripes to be cut by that outer circle again and do a subtraction and now and there you go we no longer have our lines going through we do have a really nice tight cut away it matches up perfectly and that would burn great uh, you don't have to worry about anything missing or anything overlapping uh, very simple um, just remember, like I said, I, I ask myself questions of how the process works uh, and it keeps me, uh, keeps me from making too many mistakes. I still make a lot, but um, that's one of the quick and easy ways to remove graphics and get to the desired point using our Boolean, subtract one shape from another shape, A minus B. All right, guys, hope that helped.